Hey guys, this is Meredith. I'm sitting outside on a beautiful fall sunny day and I want to talk to you about vulnerability. First of all, let me say it takes serious courage to be vulnerable. I looked at the definition of it. It says capable of or susceptible to being wounded or hurt as by a weapon or open to moral attack, criticism, temptation, etc. I mean, who wants to be vulnerable when that's what you get? Social media displays our lives, people are judgmental, and anything we say is open to criticism. Like no other time in history, we are not only susceptible to it, but it goes public. Thankfully, there are people like Brene Brown who did a TED Talk on this topic because she gives us, by talking about it, the one thing we all need, courage. I try to be authentic and vulnerable in everything I do because I believe what the enemy wants to use against us, God can use for good. Healed wounds bring hope. But let me tell you, it is not easy. Earlier this week, I did two things that took some guts for me. It, it, it was vulnerable for me to do them, and I knew I was going to feel vulnerable. So I fought that unhealthy voice. I prayed about it, and I knew, I just trusted that God had me doing it for a reason. Um, but I still felt the fear. And a couple hours later, at the end of the day, I was feeling kind of itchy when I was around a group of people and I realized and forgot, oh, duh, I was vulnerable today. So I'm ultra sensitive. So I think sometimes if we can recognize when we're in, the, in that space, we can be a little nicer to ourselves. I also think when we have the courage to walk through our fears and be vulnerable, we have to remember God is going to use it for his good. When you are putting something out there whether it be your faith, your feelings, your struggles, your perspective, you can get really scared of rejection. Seriously, I know I do. I know a lot of other bloggers like me do too. Just because they write doesn't mean they've got all the guts to do it. But if we believe, but if we believe, we have to know God is with us. There's this verse I found, Isaiah 41:10. It says, "Don't be afraid, for I am with you. Don't be discouraged, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will hold you up with my victorious right hand." In a few weeks, I'm hosting this event, a local event, to finally take the second half of my book and teach it in a weekend seminar. And I'm nervous, I'm scared, I'm excited, and there's all sorts of emotions with it. Um, but again, I'm trusting, and I'm not fearful of the outcome because I know that whatever it is, God's going to use it for good. So I encourage you to find that courage within you and be brave enough not to just say you're all about being vulnerable, but to actually be it. Think about Brene Brown again and all... Her work on vulnerability and perfectionism, do you think that wasn't scary for her to walk through all that and to stand up at a TED Talk and talk about it? So standing up for our stories in a world that wants us to just pretend we have it all together is not easy, but let me tell you, if you've been through something that could help someone else, I, I say share it, um, because I believe that our healed stories will help somebody else going through something like we went through. I believe a lot of times God puts people in our life um, to show us that we can walk through it. Um, and it, what I think is funny sometimes is people are surprised when they hear a story from someone and, and they're amazed because they thought they had it all together on the outside. And, oh, wait, you struggle with this too? That's that belonging. That's that connection. That's we're all real. We're all human. We all struggle. We just have different versions of of how our life goes. Um, so that to me is the power of vulnerability. I truly believe it can break strongholds that keep us to ourselves and keep us stuck inside. I'm not saying air your dirty laundry, eh -eh, not so much, but if you feel like you have a story to share, then share it. Not everyone will accept it, many will reject it. You are the one in the arena. You gotta focus on the ones who are seeking to be real and let go of the ones who want nothing to do with it. And I know that is so hard and I know there's a space to be real with people that are safe and that you trust. So I'm not saying, you know, oh, make sure, you know, you put it out to the world because everyone's everyone has to know. Sometimes it's not for everybody to know, especially when you're in the middle of it. But if you walk through it, it really can help someone else. So I'm going to throw up on my blog um, one of my favorite quotes, the uh, Theodore Roosevelt in the arena. Um, I actually got it from <laughs> um, when I left the campaign. And... Um, and it was just kind of an encouraging verse um, that I've always kept on my heart, and I love that Brene Brown uses it. I'm going to put her talk up, and uh, I don't know, I'm just grateful to her for really planting seeds of courage so we can all be vulnerable. So you guys have a great day, and...
go be vulnerable in whatever little way you can. Um, I hope this inspired you a little bit to do just that. Have a great day, and I hope you get to enjoy the fall leaves wherever you are, even if it's on the internet. <laughs> All right, have a good one.